vibrating very rapidly back and forth, back and forth, creating sound. Now, does everything in our universe vibrate very well? No. Raise your hand if you say yes, everything vibrates pretty well. Okay, hands if you say no, not everything vibrates well. Okay, hands down, this should now be about half of you. How many of you have no idea? Come on, raise your hand. Just, nobody raised their hand before. So we have to do an experiment and test it since you don't know. The cool thing about science is if you're unaware of the answer, you just do a science experiment and you find the answer. And Science, we have to test it over and over and over again. So I have a gong. Will this vibrate very well? Yes. Should we test it? No? Yes. No. Yes. no? no. Yes. Are you the no guy? Uh, no. So what? <laughs> you told me no, then I must test it. Yeah, we're totally going to test it. <laughs> so does it vibrate really well? Yes. Yeah, it actually vibrates so well that it's going on my arm. Right? It feels cool. So this vibrates really, really well. Now, what about this, though? What about my friend? Hold on now. Mr. Fluffy Bunny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think Mr. Fluffy Bunny will vibrate as well as the gong? Yeah. Uh, yeah. No? yeah. Should we test it? Yeah. Now he says yes, yes. Yeah. Test the bunny. It's the bunny with the gong. <laughs> why not this? Oh, wow, really? Now you have to be quiet. He's so messed up. His eyes all jacked. It's all... So, you have to be quiet though, because we have to listen for vibration. This is science. Come on now. Ready? Yes. Oh. oh, I heard that. <laughs> you, you heard something, but was it the money vibrating? No. It was the table. So to do this more effectively, we have to really hit the money. Oh, I heard that. So, did the money vibrate very well? No. no, he didn't vibrate well at all. Um, however, he did make a slight sound. He said, ow. And anything that makes any sound at all has to vibrate. So there is some vibration happening, just not as much as the gong. So, who gets bored really easily? I know, it's a, it's a trip, man, your generation is, yeah. Anyway, it's okay, though. If you get bored, here's the cool thing about science. I get bored, too. Everybody gets bored. And especially when I have to sit at the desk and do paperwork, because that's no fun. So when I get bored, I can walk around the museum and do really weird things. So the other day, I got bored, and I walked around, and I found a bunch of these hex nuts. We have a bunch of these out on the floor out there. And I took a hex nut, and I put it in my balloon. Can you see it down there? Whoa. Isn't that weird? Yeah, it blows your mind, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. A lot of cool stuff can happen out of boredom, and actually a lot of science experiments gone awesome happen out of boredom. Ooh. <laughs> you don't understand how little it takes to make me entertained. <laughs> Sounds like a really sad car trying to start. <laughs> now, how in the world is that happening, though? Seriously, how is... What's going on between that hex nut there and my balloon? Yes. There's some rubbing, yes. <laughs> but what's the, what's the reason? What's the word we're looking for? Oh, everybody knows it. Come on, you're eighth grade. Say it. Vibration. Vibration and yes, friction is happening as well. So you can also do this at home with a penny, but a penny does not have as many sides as a hex nut, so therefore there's not as much vibration going on. And it goes around and around and around and around. So, how does the sound get to your ears? Because some people's ears are way back there. So, yeah, the vibration is creating the sound, but how does the sound travel 
to you. Yes. There's some bouncing too. Yes, but how's it traveling? Yeah. Sound waves, fantastic. Have you guys heard of these things, sound waves? Yeah. Okay, thank goodness. Now, does the ocean have waves? Yeah. yeah, and guess what? Look around, you're in a ginormous ocean of air. So just like an ocean of water and an ocean of air, sound has to travel in waves from my fantastic voice all the way to your ears in the back. Now, we can't, of course, see these waves, but they are traveling in waves. So do the sound waves look like this? Yeah, no. What? <laughs> we are torn. No. Do me a favor, look around the room. Can you see them? No. No. They're invisible. They put that in a textbook, but that does not help me in the least. If you're visual like me, that doesn't do anything at all. And we can't see them because sadly, uh, and somebody will say they are, but I guarantee they're not superheroes. So, sound, who said they are? Yeah, there's always one in the audience. Uh, sound waves, if you could see them, look a little bit more like that, actually. Ooh, more interesting? No. Don't be the no man. It's more interesting. This is actually what we call a compression wave. Now, in order to understand a compression wave, you gotta take your hands like this, because these are invisible, right? So take your hand. This is awesome, and the boys will totally love it. Ready? You take your hands, you're gonna pull them in, like you're squishing someone's head, and out, and in, and out. I'm waiting for somebody to squish a friend's head. It hasn't happened. Oh, he wants a class clown. So it goes back and forth, back and forth like this. Now, here's what the air molecules do down the compression wave. They have to do the silly air molecule dance. Bear with me, Zed. Wrong. They do this. <laughs> okay. Back. All the way to your ear. And then you can see everyone in the audience listen. Tell me if the frequency changes at all. Okay, start us off. <gasps> Did it change? Oh yeah, it went from a high frequency to a low frequency. Very creepy. Not a second, but I asked you all the question earlier can you see sound waves? Yes. Can you see them? Yeah. No. Yeah. Let's try this again. Can you see sound waves? No. 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 You wish you were a superhero, dude. Yeah, can't you. Can't you. you can't see sound waves. Here's the cool thing about science, though. Just because you are limited by your vision does not mean you can't create and invent something so that you can see it. And that's exactly what a scientist did. He really wanted to see what sound waves looked like, so he created this. It's named after him. It's called the Rubens tube. And the cool thing is, it allows us to see sound waves as if we were superheroes. So what I'm going to do, I need your help. You have to be nice and quiet, because um, you're going to have to look here, science eyes. I'm going to have a wave come out of here, and I'm going to play you some of these things. Frequency notes. So I want you to listen up. And anytime you notice that the wave changes at all, I want you just to nod that, that you're aware of the change, OK? And um, everything I'm about to do from this point on, you're not allowed to do, <laughs> ever. Ever, 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 until you have a ridiculous amount of science degrees, you have so much training and you make no money. Great All right. Give it time. You be Now notice how the frequency changes and the actual wave changes. So every frequency has its own wave, a lot like snowflakes, they are all different, okay? They don't all look the same. Like this? <laughs> How do you think I would do that? Oh, if I change the frequency back and forth, it would move, right? Oh, oh my gosh, how do we do that? Gotta keep getting. Gotta keep getting. Gotta keep getting. That's how you get it. You're allowed to chair dance, you just can't get out of your chair. It's like he's in a straight chair. So you guys have your computer and you can see on the computer when the waves go up and down. That's essentially what you're looking at right now. Yeah. Now tell me if uh um, do the Black Eyed Peas have the same sound wave as Lady Gaga? No. All right, so uh, I don't think you guys have seen the sound show learning how cool sound waves are, and now we for the best sound ever is. A round of applause.